How do you find the blind guy at the nudist beach? It's not hard. Like with Iceberg Gaming here, 2022 is about to come to an end, so this is going to be a quick little recap video. I'm going to do the top 10 gold-making methods that I made gold with in 2022. Now, between Season 1 and Season 2 of the Noob Gold Challenge, plus my original quote-unquote main server, I've made approximately around 9 to 10 million gold in 2022. So these are the top 10 ways that I made that gold. This is not going to contain any exact numbers because I just don't have that information, but uh, it's a pretty good estimate. Starting things off with number 10 is my Vashjir Dual Gathering Farm. This method made me quite a bit of gold. Uh, before the auction wide, uh, the region wide auction house merger, I was getting generally around 30 to 40,000 gold per hour. Plus, it is my favorite way to level alts from 30 to 40. You just fly through the levels. It's in a, a fantastic way to level, especially druids, but any class can do it, but especially druids. I do it from 30 to 40 on all of my druids, and it's a great way to level. Uh, it's still, still kind of worth it as far as the gold per hour goes since the region-wide auction house, but definitely not as good as it was before, like everything. Coming in at number 9 is my Firelands Skinning Farm. I made a lot of gold on this, obviously before the region-wide auction house. It's still probably worth it. Uh, the leather is sometimes worth it, you just have to catch, uh, catch it when the price is good. Make sure you pay attention to if you're doing heavy or regular savage leather. And then, of course, the Potion of Treasure Finding makes it still worth it because you get all the Voltals uh, and uh, some pyrite and some gold from that. So still worth it, but not nearly as good, like everything else. And up next, we've got what I call my Wrath of the Lich King Dragon Farm. It's a skinning farm. This made me a ton of gold, uh, especially before I started making videos about it and talking about it so much. I I made like 75 to 100,000 gold per hour before I opened my big mouth and told people about it. But such is the life of a YouTuber, I guess. But anyways, uh, even after that, it dropped down to like 30, 30 to 40,000 gold per hour. And then uh, obviously after the auction wide auction house merger, it went down even more. But it's still worth it in my opinion because you just get so much leather so quickly. And uh, you can either sell it as regular leather or craft it into heavy leather. Or you can do some crafted transmog with it. But there's not a lot of crafted transmog in Wrath of the Lich King. But there is some. Coming in at number 7, I've got Legion Glyphs. Before the Auction House mer merger, I was crafting these for around a thousand gold profit each, and I was selling probably around 10 of them a week, so 10,000 gold crafting gold per week, easy money, before the merger, and then they dropped to like one gold each after the merger. They finally started to recover a little bit, but still not to where they were before, obviously. And going hand in hand with that gold making method, we've got my Dreamleaf farm in Darkheart Thicket. Now, I this is not wasn't quite as efficient as making the glyphs, but the glyphs were kind of a limited amount per week that you could make, whereas the Dreamleaf farm was potentially infinite depending on how much time you wanted to play. Um, and I actually enjoyed this, enjoyed doing this farm. Not so much anymore since they changed Darkmoon Firewater, but. Uh, before that, it was one of my favorites to run, and very profitable. I, I was making a ton of gold off of Dreamleaf before the region-wide merger. It's almost worth it now. You just have to wait and check the prices. If the price comes back up over 10, it will, will be worth it to farm the Dreamleaf to sell. But until then, I'm just doing it for the mats to craft. And breaking into the top five, at number five, we've got my favorite transmog farm, Manatombs. Between the transmog items and the keys, I made tons of gold off of Manatombs in 2022. Now, I was disappointed to see how far the keys have fallen in price, but the transmog is still definitely worth it, uh, as well as you get tend to get a lot of patterns too from this farm. So, in my opinion, the best transmog farm in the game. Uh, if you disagree with me, let me know in the comment section. But that is just like my opinion, man. In the number four spot, I'm putting Tomes of Illusions. This is uh, enchanting crafts. 
one for each expansion, pretty much, uh, with a couple exceptions. I've made a ton of gold crafting these, especially of late. They've been selling like hotcakes lately, and um, it's been it's been fantastic. Quick click, quick click of a button, and an easy several thousand gold. And now we break into the top three. At number three, I'm putting selling mounts and pets from in-game holidays. Like uh, Feast of Wintervale, I've sold a bunch of Grumpuses. Hallow's End, we sold a bunch of pets. Same with Fire Festival, lots of pet sales. And surprisingly enough, Love, in, Love is in the Air, we sold a bunch of mounts for a great price. And next up at number two, we've got Dragonflight Dual Gathering. There are a couple of different routes that I like for this, but any of them will do. And uh, it's really amazing just how high on the list Dragonflight Gathering is, considering that Dragonflight just came out, but I've made a ton of gold dual gathering in Dragonflights. Probably, uh, probably over a million, maybe a million and a half at least. And coming for the number one spot, we've got Crafted Dreadful Gladiator gear that people were buying for the Mage Tower. I made a killing, a living and a killing off this. It was crazy good. I made probably 5 million gold off of these items, and uh, I, the market, I, I don't know, maybe maybe it's dried up, maybe just because I haven't been on my old server to craft as much. On my Season 2 here, I haven't I haven't set it up yet so that I don't have the infrastructure yet to craft these, but uh, I check back in on my old server every once in a while and recraft these, and they haven't sold in a while, so I don't know. Maybe the market dried up, maybe I just haven't been paying enough attention, but either way, 2022 was a great year for these items made a ton of gold, and it was lovely. And that rounds out the list. Happy New Year, everybody. Thank you so much for all the support in 2022. I'm looking forward to seeing where 2023 takes us. Uh, just so you guys know, I really could use some support with the channel. Uh, if you could subscribe on Twitch or use your free Amazon Prime subscription or become a member, if possible if not any type of donation that you could do i'd really appreciate it so we can keep this channel going thank you so much we'll see you in the next video thank you so much for watching special thank you to my youtube members twitch subscribers and viewers like you for making this channel possible